Good morning, Reborn community. It's Pooh Bear here. I'm letting a little pretty sunshine in. I have the babies here. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It's 11-11. Um, it's technically still morning time. And I have all the babies here with me. And um, I am going to chat with you guys while I do my hair. <clears throat> uh, well, basically, I need to take my hair loose. And um, I guess I'll let you guys see me because I'm not going to have the camera on me. My hair is a mess, you see. And I have my comb here. I have to take my plants loose so I can wash my hair and all that good stuff. So, um, while I do that, I just wanted to chat with you guys. So, I'm going to... Set it up so you can look at my beautiful little Ariel here. Let's see. It takes some work getting this thing set up right. <laughs> there. So I'll let you sit and look at her beautiful little face. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I could get her so you can see her a little bit better. I think I'm going to change her today. She just looks so gorgeous. Let me see. I guess that's good. And I'll bring Olivia over to two of my two of my very beautiful little girls. So you guys can check them out while I talk. Okay, so I woke up this morning. Like I say, you can say I'm addicted to the re Reborn community. Uh, probably I am because I wake up looking for videos, seeing what you guys are talking about, and all that jazz. Um, so I woke up and watched a few videos. I watched, uh, I think it's Lisa, is it something like that? Lisa Barrett, uh, some, I can't remember her channel name, but she reached 500 subscribers and she was really excited about that. And I was excited for her and she's excited about her small business and that she's been creating beautiful reefborns. Actually, my sis Yvonne, um, I love my sweepy 79, just received one of her babies, her little baby boy, Mason. And he is to die for absolutely adorable little boy. And I'm so excited for her and everything. And then um, I love Miss Serenity Smith. Uh, she is definitely becoming one of my favorite channels to watch i just like to hear her talk about her opinions and different things that are going on with her and her babies and i feel that we we kind of um are similar when it comes to the way we collect our dolls and uh, the reasons behind it and things like that and so what basically triggered this video, she made a video this morning, uh, I think it was called Reborn Chatting or something like that, and she was talking about a friend of hers who can't have children or and have decided not to have children, they're not going to have children, and of course that resonates with me because that is my current situation, can't have children and now... I just have turned it off completely and I'm just saying I'm not going to have children. I'm basically shutting down shop and preventing me from having children because I feel that life would be a lot easier without kids. Like I say, they're not just cute and cuddly and say funny things. It's a lot of hard work into raising a child. I mean, it's a lot of time put in, a lot of effort, a lot of money, a lot of sacrifice, and a lot of praying and everything. So, and my husband and I just feels that it's best that we just kind of leave things the way they are because I would cr literally have a meltdown if I had to pack up my dolls and repaint this room for nursery for the baby because there is nowhere else I would have to get rid of my reborn nursery and that is something that I can't 
due at this time. Now, if that changes somewhere down the road, so be it. But as of now, I'm perfectly happy and I'm enjoying life, you know, the way the way it is, you know. And if by some chance, you know, it happens and we have kids, we will make adjustments and, you know, go from there and everything. But I just, I'm just perfectly content the way things are now. And so moving on to what she was talking about with one of her friends and she introduced the reborns to her friend. Her first, her friend's first uh, reaction when she spoke to her about the reborns were, it's kind of creepy, but when she saw them in the flesh and saw what they were all about, uh, she wanted one and such. And so um, she posted on Facebook this is just things that uh, Miss Serena Spence was talking about in her video. And she had a lot of positive comments about where she, where can you get them from because they liked them. And she had a couple negative comments telling her that, you know, don't spend your money on getting a car seat and different things like that. Okay, and that is creepy and something may be wrong with you or whatever. So, I'm just going to tell you guys from my point of view and how I feel about this situation... And also why your family members or friends may think that you have uh, flown over the cuckoo's nest. Okay, in my situation, I went from being completely obsessed with having kids. I wanted children. I cried and cried and had a very difficult time. I always talked about kids. When is it going to be my turn? When is it going to be my turn? I want to have kids. Everyone's having kids. I went from being angry, just upset about it. Every time I would see a pregnant lady or somebody coddling their child, I just would want to barf because I couldn't have that. I couldn't have that. Why couldn't I have that? Why, God, why? Women are supposed to be able to have children, God, but why not me? What's wrong with me? I'm broken. Something is wrong with me. So I went from that crying every time, taking fertility drugs, uh, doing, um, <clears throat> what's that called? Those tests to see if I'm ovulating, taking pregnancy tests month after month, negative after negative, depression, depression, depression. And I just went from that to, and now this is from the hindsight, the mind, and from the eyes of my family. They didn't see the progression of how I got into Reborns. And, you know, they didn't see that I got into them because of their beauty. And they're just so cute, and I like to dress them. And it's not really a lot of hard work. With the reborns, they just saw their family member obsessed with having children, wanting to have children. The next thing they know, here comes their family member with these realistic dolls. Okay, so just think about that for a minute. If you, I mean, look at the grass on the other side, okay. If you had a family member who wanted to have kids so bad and the next thing you see you know they you know that they've struggled with this they cried about it they've whined about it talked about it all the time they couldn't have kids and then just one day out of the blue they come in the house with a doll of course you're going to think that they have flown over the cuckoo's nest you're going to think that they are crazy but this is what you have to do you have to think like that person and you have to understand where they're coming from also and you have to let them know where you're coming from. So at first, you know, I would be, I was so angry with my mom and my and family members saying them crazy and things like that. But once you realize that they were just really concerned for you, and once you let them in, like I said, I let my mom in my nursery. I let her know why, what I do with them, that they bring me comfort. I like to dress them. They look cute. They don't get messy. They don't cry. They don't poop their diapers. They just sit there and they look cute, just like they're doing right now. 
And once they know and realize that you have not gone crazy, they will begin to accept your hobby. Most people anyway. Some people are just going to be against it regardless. And those type of people, like I say, if they're in your family, you're just going to have to accept them for who they are and just know that that's, that's just who they are and whatnot. And so um, as far as strangers go in the stores, they will say you're crazy. <laughs> who cares? Like I say, you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. I could care less about your opinion. But I know it... it um, it eats up some people, like I say. I'm not going to sit on here and tell you guys that I've always been so confident and like, you know, gung-ho, you know, reborn mommies forever, you know, kumbaya and all that type of stuff. When I first got Maya, my very first little reborn, here she is. Let me show you two. Here she is. And she's so cute. I love my baby. This is my little Maya. And she didn't look this beautiful when I first got her. Her looks, you can, um, I can only thank Miss Yogi from Eternal Hugs Nursery for this beautiful face right here. That was my very first reborn. And I tell you, she looked a hot mess when I first got her. I was disappointed. I, was, I didn't even, Maya doesn't even have a box opening. Her box opening was horrible. I mean, horrible. The bottle was a mess. It had stuff floating in the bottle. The reborn bottle that she had sent, it was it was a hot mess, I must say. Okay, so I'm going to bring her back over here so she can be more comfortable laying right there. And so, where was I going with that? I lose my train of thought really easily. And so, yeah, I was saying like how when I first got into them, I was secretive about it, you know, no one knew about my reborns except for my husband. I was scared. I was afraid of what people would think. Would people think I was crazy? Would they think I've lost my mind? I was so very nervous. The very first time I took Alex out. Because Maya and Emily, when I first got them for that first time, uh, that first summer, they didn't go out. I didn't take them out. And mostly because I knew they were not very realistic. But as you get into the hobby and you start knowing what to look for, you know what artists, you know, shows that realism in the babies. And you feel more confident in taking your babies out. Like the way Emily and Maya were when I first got them, they wouldn't fool anybody. I mean, they look like Maya looked a hot mess. I'm not going to lie. And Emily... Her painting was just, it just, you know, no, no health, you know, no tones, no life. There was just no life in Italy when I first got her. And so now my first baby that I got that was the most realistic was from Yogi and uh, it was Alex. And I was chosen to be the new mommy for that little boy from Hello Dolly's Nursery from Miss Laura. Um, and that has recently passed away and, uh, that hit our community pretty hard and everything. And like I say, prayers are with her family and I hope that she is doing fine up in heaven. And, uh, but so I don't want to send this video down the sad road. So, but uh, I'm just going to keep going. When I first got my babies, you know, it... You know, I would have never thought I would take them out. But once I got Alex and saw how real he did, he looked, I was like, I could really pass. You know, I could really take him out. The first time I took him out, I can tell you now, I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I had just got in the car seat, and I was telling hubby I wanted to take him out. We went to Raising Cane's to eat, and I just left Alex in the car seat. And I sat him on the little booth, and we ate. And we left, you know, nobody figured anything. You know, well, most of the time I kept him covered up with a blanket. I had a blanket over him. I was just so nervous. I mean, my heart was just racing and pounding the whole time. And so I just wanted to say, like, when you first do it, it's going to be a rush. It's going to be, you're going to be nervous. You're going to be scared and all these things. And I remember 
being so, what's the word, like, like basically saying, I wish I could be that confident. There's actually someone who used to be a part of our Reborn community, but is no longer a part of our Reborn community. I'm not sure if that person will return, but that person actually lives in my city, and we actually had a meetup um, because they had purchased something from me, and uh, it was a surprise, and they were like, surprise, we live here. We're just going to come pick it up when I had one of my yard sales. And they brought out some of their babies. And um, the confidence, the way like, hey, it is what it is. These are my dolls. They had like some reactions right there. And the lady was like, oh, this is a baby doll. And she was like, yeah, you know. And then the lady was like kind of laughing like, wow, they look so real. And she's like, yeah. And, you know, you, sometimes you get that look like, whoa, what's wrong with them? Is something wrong with them type of deal or whatnot? And um, and she was just like, you know, hey, I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, I like bringing my dolls out. I like collecting my reborns. And, hey, if you don't like it, stuff you. And, like, I was just so amazed because I was like, I could never do that. Because when I first brought my babies out, they would always be covered up. I was so nervous and all these different things. And like as time went on and people in my family started to understand my reborn community, it gave me more confidence. Mostly I brought my reborns out with my family to family events to kind of get the feel of what they would think. Like I say, um, most of my family was like, hey, that's your thing. Go for it. Uh, like I say, my mom thought I was nuts and my aunt thought I was nuts. And I can see how they would think that when you, when I went from wanting kids so bad to collecting these realistic dolls. But now, once they see, like I say, my aunt is still kind of a little iffy about it. But she hasn't come to my nursery. She hasn't seeing what I do with them I just like to change them and take pictures and video them and you know sometimes you do little videos with them little uh role playing videos and stuff just for fun and like I say I believe she knows that you know I'm not nuts or anything like that but uh I think basically my family's just accepted it and I, like I basically told them it is what it is they're not going anywhere they're a part of my family I love them. I'm so very grateful and happy that I found the Reborn community because of the love, the the kindness of the Reborn community. Everyone is just so nice and sweet. And I just, you guys are family to me. And I just really could not imagine my life now without the Reborn community because you guys have had such a positive impact on my life. And you make me want to be an even better person. I love doing giveaways and all that type of stuff. And I'm probably going to do a giveaway today for the uh, other girl items that I have over there. I'm just going to think of how I want to do it. And so, like, basically, this video, to kind of sum it all up, you know, everyone's not going to like your dolls. Some people are going to love your dolls. And you have to accept that, basically. You can't force anybody to like the hobby because you like it. And no one can force you not to like it because they don't like it. You know, we're all individuals. Everyone has different things that make them happy. Like she was saying, some people, like Miss Serena Smith was saying, some people like to spend $200, $300 on Gucci and Coach and all these designer clothes and bags and shoes and all this type of stuff. But no one tells them anything. They barely can pay their bills. My bills are play paid. I have plenty of money in the savings and it's continuously growing. I have steady income. I work. You know, I'm responsible. I pay my bills. And um, I take care of my house and my family. And there's nothing wrong with me enjoying my hobby. Now, it may not be a hobby that is common, like collecting cars or Pokemon cards or 
I don't know, collecting stamps. If you ask me, that's really boring to me. I wouldn't want to collect that. That's kind of stupid. But that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? People may think that our hobby is stupid and that we're crazy. But guess what? They don't know us. They don't know me. They don't know you. And their opinion is just that. An opinion. It is not fact. There is nothing factual about it. We don't try and breastfeed our dolls. We feed them faux milk, which is um, uh, fabric softener and vanilla and water. Would you feed a real bo real baby that? No, we don't actually feed them. The nipples are glued closed. If we got all that on them, they would mildew. You know, we don't actually feed them. We don't, you know, take them around saying that they are real. I most of the time tell people that they are not real. They are a doll. It's my hobby. I like collecting reborn dolls. Um, sometimes if I'm in a rush and I don't really feel like explaining it, and I'm just somebody just says, "Oh, how cute!" On as I walk past, you know, I'll just smile and keep going. But if someone stops me and says, "Oh, how old is she or he? They're so adorable," and I'll tell them that, you know. If they were real, they'd probably be around such and such age. And, I, and then they kind of look at me crazy. I'm like, no, and they're they're not real. They're, it's a reborn doll. It's a, realism, a realistic doll for collectors. Mostly adult women collect them. But, you know, men and women and some younger teenagers and children collect them also. And I, what I say is usually an adult thing because they can be pretty expensive. And, you know... Children don't work, you know, unless their parents buy them for them. So, you know how that whole thing goes. But, like I said, that basically sums it up. Like I say, don't be upset. Like I said, I can't tell you not to be upset. Some people, like I say, I get upset sometimes about things. But don't really take it to heart when people make judgments about your dolls and about your hobby when they don't know anything about it. Now, if you show them and... They still, it's like, okay, this is creepy, I don't get it. You know, hey, to each his own. Everybody has their thing. And so, um, you can't, like, uh, you can't force people to like it. Either they like it or they don't. And, uh, tips on taking your babies out if you want to take them out and you're really, really nervous, I say take them out in a car seat. And when it gets cold, you know, have a blanket to cover them up. And, you know, you get in the store, just kind of ease the blanket off, you know, to kind of show them a little bit, you know, if you want. Just, I think the best place to go is like craft stores like uh, like Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Those type of people are into artsy, craftsy things. And they are from, uh, they seem to be more accepting of our hobby and they're more like wow that's so interesting like the best reactions I've gotten was in Hobby Lobby like Michaels places like that Walmart maybe you know and if you get a negative comment hey just try your best to brush it off you know if you enjoy your hobby just enjoy your hobby and just leave it at that uh, I'm trying to see what else I wanted to say. Um, like I say, you're an adult. You you work hard. Uh, you pay your own bills. You know, as long as your rent is your if you're buying dolls and your rent isn't being paid, yes, then you might you need to kind of dial it back a little bit and and realize what's priority. You know, for you, you know, you need a place to live. You need food. Like I say. My husband and I, we're not wanting for anything. He has his hobby. I have my hobby. And, you know, it's all copacetic. <laughs> but like I say, at first, when you first get into Reborns, it can be quite overwhelming. And like I say, also when you first get into Reborns, you don't really know what you're looking for. And I can pretty much guarantee you, unless you have done your research and have really, you know, really done your research and knew, know what to look for. When you first get your first reborn, uh, I know for me, basically, 
the price of them uh, can be a shock. And um, you try and get, you know, what looks the best for the best deal, the cheapest price. And um, actually, when I pay for Maya, I, <laughs> I have paid that for you know, some of the reborns I have now, and she was a hot miss. And so, but anyway, um, where was I going with that? Uh, you're gonna, you're probably gonna get a few, a few bananas every now and then, a few duds, you know, and you just, you get more better at, uh, what to look for and what looks realistic and things like that. And you can build your hobby. I know, at the beginning, like you want, you want to get the clothes. You need to get all the accessories. Like when I first started, I just had a bassinet. Like I said, I didn't even have. Well, did I have the bassinet before I got Maya? I just had a bassinet. That was the first thing I got in like one plastic container and like some baskets from the dollar store. You know. You start off small and you see everybody with these nice nurseries and all these nice things and toys and boppies and all this stuff for their babies and you just go crazy. And I have to admit, like I say, I dropped a lot of money on my dolls, their accessories, the bassinets, the bouncers, the car seats, all that stuff, the play mats, the containers, the bows, the, the shoes, the everything. You know, at the beginning, you know, I would have these huge hauls. And after a while, I saw the effects in my bank account. Like, man, where would all the money go? And it's like when you buy a little here, a little there. And it doesn't seem like it's that much. And it was affecting my marriage and everything. With just kind of going willy-nilly and just buying everything that I saw that I wanted. And you know. That was my husband's main problem. With my reborns. The way I was just spending the money on them. I was just spending money. Spending money. And after a while. You know. Because I could see the evil looks. I would get from him. And I thought that he didn't like my reborns. And you know. It was kind of rocky for a little while. But. He sat down with me. He was like, it's not the reborns. It's the amount of money that you are spending on them that is concerning me. And lo and behold, uh, I gave birth to the I Wanted notebook. I put myself on a budget. And I could see the money, you know, staying in my account and the difference. And I was like, wow, I was really spending that much money. He was like, yes, now you see what I was talking about. And whatnot. And so I think. Because I basically had everything I wanted. When I put myself on the budget. And now the budget is kind of just to keep me in line. And I can still get a few things here and there. For the babies. Trade things out. Sell things. I'm selling an old cell phone right now on eBay. Trying to get some money for my babies. And stuff. You just kind of got to make things work. And when you're on a budget. You go shopping. And you see this and that. Oh I only have $40. Okay if I spend 20 on this. 10 on that. I'm only left with $10. Oh and then you start weighing things. Oh do I really need that blanket? I have a ton of blankets. I'll put that back. Do I really need that pair of shoes oh they have so many shoes put that back do i really need this you know you kind of weigh the prices you know i have a container full of toys i don't need that put that back and before you know it you had 60 dollars worth of stuff and you're down to 20 you know you kind of got to watch it and keep yourself on budget to keep yourself from going overboard because i know that can also affect a relationship if they see you spending all this money on these dolls and it's like, what's going on? So I strongly suggest um, if you're just now starting off with Reborns to put yourself on a budget. Now, um, your budget probably could be a little bit higher than mine because I basically have everything I want and need. 
So $40 every two weeks is what I allow myself to spend on my babies, which isn't a lot, but you have to stretch your money. You know, you have to stretch it. You have to clearance shop. You got to hunt and dig. You have to children's place on the weekends when they have the dollar clearance and all that type of stuff. But that outfit that Ariel is wearing, that was a dollar, you know, so you just got to stretch your money. And just be careful and just don't get consumed by wanting to buy so much because, you know, you have other responsibilities and bills and you have to be responsible with your collecting. And let, and if you're not and if you let it consume you too much, it's going to become a really basically an obsession. And, you know, you don't want that. Like I say, I love my dolls. I enjoy changing them and holding them and rocking them and taking them out but you know they have their place you know I don't take them everywhere with me sometimes I want to take them off sometimes I don't that's the beauty of reborns if you had real children you'd have to take them everywhere with reborns if you don't feel like taking them when you go to the movies or go to the out to eat you don't have to if you want to take them to Walmart or wherever you're going you can take them you know that's the beauty of it they don't, they're very low maintenance. And I really believe that uh, having the Reborns has kind of opened my eyes to a new world. A world where I can have sweet, cute little babies and I can still also have my freedom. Like I say, to each its own. This is just me rambling and chatting about my opinions while I'm sitting here taking my hair loose. So, I want to thank Miss Serenity Smith for making that video and it kind of prompted me to kind of tell my side and how things progressed with me and my reborns and everything. And I think now <clears throat> I'm in a really good place. You know, my husband's happy because I'm on my budget. My mom's happy because she knows that I'm not psychotic. You know, my family's happy that I'm happy. And... Anything that a stranger has to say or anybody on YouTube that will write nasty messages. Oh, you're crazy. You're a grown lady playing with dolls. That stuff. I don't entertain that. I don't respond back. If it's a really nasty comment that has foul language, I would delete it and I will block that person. And if it's just something like, what's wrong with you? Why are you collecting dolls? Hey, everybody has their opinion. I let, let it stay up there. I could care less. That's your opinion. You don't know me. Uh, you know, you're not my family member. You don't pay my bills. And you definitely will not dictate what I do with my money. You know, it, it is what it is. I, everybody, like I say, I'm entitled to my happiness. Just like everybody else is entitled to their happiness. And just kind of think about that, you guys, when... You're concerned and worried and scared about what people are going to think about your hobby. Just say, hey, I'm a person like everybody else and I deserve to be happy too. You know, no, don't let anybody steal your joy. Like I say, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It took me a long time to get to the realization that, you know what? Hey, screw that. I enjoy it. I'm not hurting anybody. So what would you think? You know, like I say, it takes you a while to kind of get that type of confidence in your hobby when it's something that's so different. And especially if you have a lot of people around you that are like, okay, what is wrong with you? I can understand how you would shy away from it and who would want to be judged and scrutinized every time they go out. You know, of course, but... I think if you want to enjoy your reborns and take them out, you just have to get a thick skin and do what you want because you love it and you like it and not, you know, because of someone else or whatever. But I could sit and ramble for hours about this topic. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. I love you guys. You are my family. I... <laughs> I enjoy watching you guys' videos and commenting and, you know, everything is just all good here. You know, the Reborn community is a really special place and I am 
honored, very honored to be a member of this beautiful YouTube Reborn community. So that's pretty much all I got to say. Uh, this video is very long. If you guys watched the whole video, thank you for watching the whole video. I hope you enjoyed, you know, just listening to my opinions. All right. Kisses. Mwah. I'm going to finish taking my hair down and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.